Hey everyone, how are you? How are you? Oh my gosh, um, I have, boy do I have a um, interesting, interesting insight for you guys today. Um, for those of you who do not know me, I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder of A Piece of Positivity Studios, aka A Pop Studios. And what I do is I help people who are no longer happy in their jobs or in their life find their joy again. Um, and I do that through a combination of coaching, creative expression, and the uh, mysterious experiential activities like my signature feeling salty workshop. Um, so before I tell you this story, I just want to make sure that you guys know that, that this experience is coming up. Feeling salty is coming up this Thursday um, at Float Haven Health Spa in Pittman, in Pittman New Jersey. It's an amazing venue, super relaxing, super great. And um, if you want to, if you're feeling stuck or you aren't, you know, you're feeling disengaged or like you really don't like your job or your boss or your partner, or, you know, et cetera, the list could go on, then perhaps it's time to get your rear end there. Um, so we're going to do stream of consciousness writing, um, group discussion, and uh, a moving meditation in salt. Everyone's going to get a box of salt that we get to play with. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. And um, I can guarantee you that you will leave there feeling a lot more calm than you did when you walked in. Um, so the question of the day, like this, this is the question of the day. Are you a shitty leader? Um, bomb drops, right? Like, oh my God, am I a shitty leader? And to some extent, all of us are shitty leaders. Let's be honest. But um, I had a really interesting conversation today, and it was surrounding this. So I, I talked to a leader who is an amazing, amazing person, really well known in the community, in the industry that they were working in, um, like a thought leader and, and just trailblazing their way through their, their life from the outside, looking in. That is what it appears. Um, but I had a conversation with this really interesting person today, and um, I was actually quite intimidated whenever I got on the phone with them, because I was like, you know, you're a leader in your own right. Like, who am I to have a, uh, to, to be able to help you? Um, someone who's much older than me and uh, is, just, is just a thought leader. And it turns out that this person was struggling with the very same things that a lot of us, you know, millennials, younger boomers are going through. And it just boggled my mind. You know, not only that the, you know, not that they're they're struggling with a lot of this, a lot of the same issues, but the fact that this leader had in, had instilled in themselves, whether it was through childhood, bad experience, whatever, a belief that didn't serve them. But the problem was is that this belief not only didn't serve them, it didn't serve their entire community. So an example would be, um, just I just wanna give this person the, the ability to like stay anonymous. So the, the example would be, I'm a leader at a gym, right? I, I do a uh, workout program. I, do, I run a gym I, and I'm trying to lose weight just like I'm trying to help my clients lose weight or I'm trying to achieve my ideal body, just like I'm trying to help my clients achieve an ideal body. And the thing is, is that this leader, in this hypothetical scenario, didn't believe that they could lose the weight. Can you imagine the impact, or they didn't believe that their ideal body was possible, the impact that that person as a leader in the personal training world, at the gym, et cetera, that belief could trickle down and influence an entire community, right? So I just wanna give you this as like a, a heat of warning, right? Where are the beliefs that are instilled within you and are they serving you? And even on a deeper level, are they serving your community? Are they serving your family, your friends, your children, your clients, your colleagues, whatever? If you are a leader, and I think to some extent we all are leaders, where are these subconscious beliefs that we might not even know that we have that are impacting 
the lives of others. Like if I was a personal trainer and I didn't believe that it was possible to lose weight or to get my ideal body type, well, my clients, I'm going to attract the clients that also don't believe that. I'm also not going to set them up for success. If I'm marketing to them that they can lose weight and do this thing, do that thing and achieve their ideal body weight, well, it's completely out of alignment with my subconscious beliefs. And so not only am I hindering myself and I'm not enabling myself to lose weight and achieve my own ideal body weight, but I'm also hindering the lives of others energetically and probably through, you know, subconsciously through different comments and conversations that you might have with those individuals. So really, I really, really want to encourage you guys to think about what your beliefs are around, you know, things that maybe you're self-conscious about or things you want to grow or improve upon in your life. Because if you're a leader, those beliefs that don't serve you are certainly not serving others. So if you're not doing it for yourself, make sure that you're doing it for others. And um, just, just to let you know, this is exactly what we will, you know, this is a scenario exactly that I would be helping you work through at Feeling Salty. So if, you, if you're near New Jersey um, um, on Thursday night, if you're not available on Thursday, I have another one coming up next Wednesday at United by Blue. Um, and I have the link, apopstudios.eventbrite.com to see when the upcoming events are. Um, make sure you're there because if you're not sure what your subconscious beliefs are, if you're not sure how your actions, thoughts, beliefs, conversations, words, whatever, are affecting your community, your family, your friends, your colleagues, your children, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, then that's a dangerous place to be in. And I want to give you the opportunity to explore what those subconscious beliefs are and help you move forward and say, I don't believe this. First of all, I don't believe this, right? Um, and help you move forward with, you know, either understanding that this is a belief that you struggle with, so you know how to navigate it, or say, I'm done. We're breaking up belief. You're not serving me, and you certainly are not serving my community. So I would love, love, love to see you guys on Thursday, if not Thursday, next Wednesday, if not next Wednesday, another time. You can see my events at apopstudios.eventbrite.com. Um, I, I just, this is something I really feel passionate about. We could talk about it more in person. Um, but make sure you're being a good leader and make sure that you're not only being a good leader for others, but yourself. So this is a whole picture that I want to create, uh, for you just to, to broaden, you know, take a minute back from the social media, from the buzz, from the busyness, from everything, and, and just really look inward and see what's going on because it's really going to serve you if you do. So I hope to see you guys this week uh, or next week. And if not, then sometime very soon. I love, love, love you guys. And uh, we will talk soon.